Hello guys, welcome to my class. Today we are going to analyze and design a circular beam. This is a special case. We do not design circular beams regularly. So keep focusing on the video and you are going to learn a fantastic theme. Okay, so first open the stat pro. Click on new project click on space give a name choose the location yes length unit is meter force unit kilo newton then click on next click on add beam then finish it now we go to the geometry and select the run structure wizard the select the model type to frame model and you have seen a circular beam now double click on the circular beam and they have the inputs file they want to know what you want to design want to model in the structure okay i'm going to draw it five meter radius with 360 angle that is circle and the normal base is 80 okay. you can change the normal base okay by put the value in here you can change the radius you can change the angle of what you need okay then after finished click on apply now we have our circular beam okay now close the dialog and the dialog will pop up what do you say would you like to transfer or merge this prototype into stack pro of course yes click on yes the dimension for x y and z will be zero and click on ok switch off the snap on grid now we have our circular beam we have to fix it by four column ok select the node function select two nodes in here and two nodes in two nodes in the x direction two nodes in the y direction select this node and this node now four node are selected now copy the node from your keyboard control c for paste the node go to control b from your keyboard now column in the y direction it is three meter and it will go in the downward okay now we will give the value minus 3 meter as it is okay then click on ok now we have to add the column if you if you may add the column by add beam or you want a shortcut as we engineers always do to find a shortcut select total nodes go to select go to geometry go to create beam along y axis i am going to create it ok now we have to fix the columns for that go to support page by click here go to create add fixed support now select the support option select the column nodes using control from your keyboard and click on assign to selected nodes then assign it then yes now you have to give the member property for that go to member properties click on define it will be rectangle and dimension will be 0.3 meter to 0.3 meter 
okay then add it it goes in the whole structure okay you can change the structure you can choose one property for the column if also you can choose one property for the beam okay and select the whole structure we are going to apply it on the whole structure so we go to the assign to view selecting the property and click on assign then yes now check it by 3d render view now we have our beam with four columns supporting okay now we have to apply the load then first close the member property page go to loads load load page click on load page go to load case detail click on add go to primary loading type first date give a title date in add it again add live type live add it close it now for the date load select the date option click on add goes the self weight load add it and member load the force will be minus 1 kN or give minus 2 kN in the global y direction click on add close it for the life load click on live click on add click on member load force will be minus 1 kN then add it now for the self weight it goes to whole structure then click on assign to view then assign it for the UDL it goes on the beams so, so um, select the beam select the only beams it is select by control pressing the control from your keyboard and click the member okay now click on assign to select beams and assign it similarly for the live click on assign to select beams select the beams and click on assign then yes now the modeling is complete you have to analyze it for that go to command analyze run analyze perform analyze analyze run analyze Save it. There is no error, no warning, no notes. Okay, now we go to the concrete design. Click on done. Go to design. Click on design. Click on concrete. We are going to design the concrete design. Select your code. I am going to select IS 456. Select the parameters. I am going to select three parameters, clear cover, double click on the parameters you want to choose, compressive strength and yield strength, then click on OK. Now define the parameters we selected for the clear cover, 0 0.025 for 25 millimeter cover, add it for compressive strength, 20,000. There is 20,000 km per meter square. Then add it for the yield strength. You will 415,000. Add it, close it. Now the parameters goes in the whole structure as we design the whole structure. So click on cover and click on assign to view for the whole structure. Similarly, click on FC, click on assign to view, assign, yes. Similarly, F1 main, assign to view, assign, yes. Now I have to command it. Go to commands, go to design commands, click 
click on design beam add and design column select design column then add close it for the beams goes only the beams select the beams deselect members by pressing control from your keyboard and click on the member now click on assign to selected beams and assign it yes for column select the column pressing control from your keyboard click on assign to view assign yes now our design is complete and we have to analyze it comment analyze perform analyze no print ok analyze randomize save it there will show a error you don't have to worry about you see there is no warning if you have any warning you don't have to freak out because the beam is not continuous we cut into pieces of the beam remember first in the past we go to the run wizard option it, will, it is 5 meter and the normal base is 18 so for that it might come the warning ok now go to the view output file for see the output file click on concrete design and you have the data for the reinforcement for the beam and also for the columns ok you can check it by double click on the member concrete design you see upper reinforcement is 12 millimeter they are using 12 millimeter dia bar 3 nums and also for the down and uh, down reinforcement ok and the distribution they are using 8 millimeter bars center to center distance is 120 millimeter you can see the deflection and shear bending from here you can check any member any beam ok double click on the beam and you see there is in the bottom reinforcement they are using 12 millimeter the 3 number and the upper reinforcement using 10 millimeter the 2 number it is for the moment it is for the load what is applied let's see the shared is on the bottom so they are using they are give the bottom reinforcement ok you can check the column design also I will click on the column and see the concrete design ok 4 long bar 12 millimeter size per size you can go to the post processing click on ok you can check the reaction on the column click the reaction select text and move the data table ok you can check the animation for deflection apply ok the deflection is so small distance is so small that you can't see the animation ok go to the beam you can see the bending moment of the beam or the structure you can go to the graphs for selecting the graphs see the bending moment change on the for the different diagram this is in the upper this is for the down for the upper reinforcement is goes in the up and for the bottom reinforcement goes in the bottom you can see this is they give upper and bottom reinforcement also and for that they give also the upper reinforcement and bottom reinforcement Check the all members.
see there is a lot of difference in here they're using 10 millimeter die three numbers you can ch change the diameter of the part by you have the AST of the reinforcement or you can say that name of the area reinforcement area so you can change it okay or you can go to the reports select the output you can select all the information and click on ok and you have the total output file see total output file okay so this is how you can analyze and design a cantilever view okay so that's it and thank you for watching my video.